forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. It cooled down a bit during the day today. Milder weather will come back in tomorrow, but it will take a little while to get in. So a cold rain is going to be falling tomorrow. A good portion of the day. A warm front will then move through and it'll turn some snow to rain in parts of the mountains. I'll detail all of that, but we could hit 55 on my three degree guarantee for the day tomorrow. Right now it's 24 in Stanley, 31 in McCall. It's 44 in Boise, down to 33 degrees in Twin right now. Getting real cold, so colder will settle in tonight and then clouds will overrun that. And so with that colder air in place will have low or snow levels in the valley. Southeast winds overnight will actually take, make our temperatures. We're going to reach our low temperature tonight around 8 or 9 o'clock. It's going to start to rise as the wind picks up, and I think we'll be well under the 40s, probably hanging in the mid-40s tomorrow morning. Not so in Ontario. It'll get a little bit colder in Ontario. Here's the cloud cover kind of streaming in following the jet stream here, but there's moisture coming in from the south and west. This will start to overspread the region overnight tonight, and then a warm front will push on through, and that'll change uh, the uh, colder weather, it'll, it'll bring in colder, the warmer weather and replacing the colder weather. We'll get it right here. So here's the storm system right here. So there's rain out ahead of this. This is a warm front. It then slides through and shuts the precipitation off for a little while, maybe middle part of the day for the Treasure Valley, and then the snow levels rise in the mountains. Another surge of moisture right behind it comes in and just really soaks the region with higher snow levels, 5,500 feet at least, maybe to 6,000 feet in the West Central Mountains. So the future cast looks like this. Overnight tonight, tomorrow morning, there it is early in the morning. Rain is falling in the valley. Snow is really coming down in most mountain locations in McCall, Long Valley. It'll be snowing when you wake up in the morning. See the blue here? This is Long Valley. If you push this to the latter part of the day, you start to see it turn pink. That's the precipitation changing over as that warm front comes through. More moisture still coming in and another surge will come in during the overnight hours, Tuesday night into Wednesday. In fact, this is a wider view of Tuesday at 4 o'clock. Watch it turn all green here. This is Wednesday morning, but the snow levels are a lot higher, so that's when they'll surge up to 7 thousand feet probably in the West Central Mountains before it all shuts off about one o'clock in the afternoon in the Treasure Valley anyway. I think it'll tend to dry on out. Precipitation wise, we're talking about a lot of moisture coming in again. Look at the mountains, one and three quarters in McCall, two and a half inches at least in Pine, and look at Boise now, 1.2 inches. Instead of getting this downsloping from the southwest wind that dries out most of the Treasure Valley here, our wind is shifting a little more southwest and west, and that is not allowing the wind to sink down over the Oahe Mountains and dry out the region. So more moisture will ride up and over the mountains, the central mountains. Basically, that brings more rain in, especially north of I-84 during the day, again, between overnight tonight through Wednesday morning. As far as snow cover goes, this is just 24 hours. So actually, we're going to look all the way ahead to Thursday. And you see the snow, the little pink right here, that's uh, 15 to 20 inches right there at the peak, 10 to 15 inches up in here. Brundish Mountains should do well. The Wallawa Mountains doing well also. I want to show you the snow level. Now at 4,500 feet, will then rise up to 5,500 feet. This is the West Central Mountains, so the base of Tamarack and McCall will turn over to rain. But before that happens, two to five inches of snow will fall, then it will get slushy. But at 6,000 feet, we could get 8 to 16 inches of snow and possibly 10 to 20 inches of snow, Banner Summit, and maybe the tops of the ski areas again in the West Central Mountains. That would be some good news. Keep an eye on that for you. The jet stream digging on down to the south, that means colder weather coming in. And I just looked at the long-range pattern for the next 16 days, and it stays cold and wet. That means snow. It means good news for the ski areas. Temperatures in the 50. Periods of rain in the Treasure Valley early in the morning, a break in the middle part of the day, and then we'll get probably more showers as the day progresses. West Central Mountains, snow to rain, two to five inches of snow, uh, 4,500 foot to 5,500 foot. It'll start to melt from low to high. In the East Central Mountains, snow showers around as well, and a good deal of snow, three to eight inches between Stanley and Sun Valley. Magic Valley tomorrow, periods of rain likely, getting mild and twin up to 56 degrees. My on your side extended forecast. The colder weather comes in Thursday behind the system. Look at those temperatures drop from the mid 50s down to the 30s over the weekend. And weekend is not Tuesday, it's Saturday and Sunday. I'll get it right there. <laughs> Snow showers on Saturday in the Treasure Valley. Those temperatures will come down and stay down for at least th about a couple weeks, you yeah, say. Yeah, I, huh? I think so. And I think the skiers are going to start to really accumulate snow. Good. Good news. Good news. All right. Thanks, Scott. Coming up next on today's 6